All right, so I got to ask you, growing up, who were some of your favorite players? Dude, um, I grew up in St. Louis, so obviously, like, I grew up a Cardinal fan. Like, Albert was, was like, one of, my, one of my favorites, obviously. And then Chris Carpenter, like, Wayno, like, those guys were, were all the ones that I watched, like, since I was little. Okay, so Cardinals fans, so I have this course called Baseball Mount Rushmore. And what I do is this, you got one catcher, one pitcher, one infield, and one outfield. It's on the spot, and I know it can change, and you're probably like, really, I gotta do this. But I need your Mount Rushmore. Who's your catcher for your baseball Mount Rushmore? Oh, jeez. Is it all time? All time. All time. Your personal preference is favorite that's, that's hard, that's hard. You I mean, got a guy in St. Louis. I know, I grew up, grew up watching Yachty. Like, Yachty and Posey are, are probably, probably my top two. Um, probably gonna lean lean towards Yachty because I mean, the man's been a wall for almost two decades now. Yeah. All right, infielder. Infielder. So in I mean, co- in context, there has been a unanimous answer, and I'll explain that to you. So every time I've asked infield, one name comes up, and that's the captain in New York, Derek Jeter. It, it, it depends. It's like that's that's the hard part because it's like, are you going just like positional? Or are you going best just defender? Just best. I mean, infielder. It's yeah. like, I mean, I think you Albert, got easy. Out. I mean, Albert. Albert's the guy. Go. I mean, the best hitter of our generation. And it's there like, and it's like you can argue like Miggy. Miggy's been a, a tremendous hitter, but like Albert, what he did the first decade of his career, going 330 and over 100 for 10 straight years, is one of the more insane stretches of a career. I'm, I'm glad you said that. You're the first person. I'm glad you said Albert Pujols one time for Albert. I mean, I have crazy respect for Jeter for doing what he's doing, and like, I mean, the dude was unbelievable, but like. I mean, Albert's got gold gloves. He's got, he's pretty much done it all. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so the first, oh, the outfielder. I'm sorry, outfielder. Outfielder. I mean, I think I got to go Griffey. I mean, it's it's hard not to. I mean, the kid, yeah. the kid was the man and the prettiest swing, like, ever. All right, so your position, pitcher. Pitcher. I mean, I feel like I've been spoiled with all, like all the arms, all the great arms I've been able to like watch throughout like my childhood and now. I would say it's probably between Kershaw and and JV on our squad. Yeah, I mean, early, like, definitely. I mean, it's hard it's hard to go against two dudes that have won MVPs on the mound like that. That don't happen. So I mean, I'm gonna have to go with JV just because for one, he's my dude and. You can't it's, go wrong with that. Dude, no, you can't go wrong. The dude's been horsing innings for 16 years. Like it's you can't you can't argue with with the body of work. Okay, so you said you're a gamer. So the first time you saw yourself on MLB the Show, I know growing up you created <laughs> yourself and had to go through that process. But to be on a video game, what do you think about that? Oh, it's awesome. It's so cool. Like like it's realistically the only reason why why I buy sports games really like mm-hmm. at this point is like. Because I, I want to see, see, I want to play with like my dude. I think it's cool. Like I don't know. I think it's, it's it, it might sound a little like I don't know, maybe egotistical, but like I mean, it, it's it's I don't know. It's a point of pride. Like as a dude that's played video games his whole life, like just being able to like actually see yourself and not not the the you that you created is is, is pretty cool. All right. Well, congratulations to the new addition to your family. But you are a gamer. So oh, what yeah. do you actually play? Anything I can. I mean, I play like on the road. I play. Cod and I play some Elden Ring and I play just a little bit of everything. Like I, I don't have like one main obsession. I kind of I kind of try to venture out. It's like I've always been a Fallout and an Elder Scrolls fan. So, so Bethesda, okay. Yeah, Bethesda, Bethesda. They don't they don't usually miss. There you go. I like that answer, man. They just did a did a thing for Xbox the other day too. By the mm-hmm. way. Okay. Okay. So. Let's, let's change on the baseball real fast. So let's talk about this team, man. Obviously, great start to the season. What do you see in this team, the potential? Because obviously you're getting guys back healthy, guys are getting going out. What do you see for this team going forward this season? I mean, I see a team that that is very experienced, very, very comfortable in their own skin. They know We, we know what we do. We know what we're good at. Mm-hmm. And a team that's not going to gonna press. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, we're, we're – probably what, you, what people call in a little bit of a lull right now but like the guys in the clubhouse they they understand like it's a long season their ebbs and flows like we had a really good stretch like right before this so it's a, it's it's just kind of one of those things where you you don't ever get too high don't ever get too low and and obviously with a team that's that's been in every situation you can imagine over the last I don't know seven years 
it, it makes it a little bit easier because guys don't 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 freak out. It's it's a it's a lot easier when you got so many guys that have been around and and understand where we're at, where we need to be, and how to get there. So I love that. Love that. Last question. Walk up song. So let's say you can pick any artist. The song is named after you. Oh God. And you can pick any artist to do that song. Who would be the artist? That's that's, that's the hardest question I think I've ever been asked. I <laughs> honestly. Oh, you put me on the spot. I I don't know. I mean, I got I got hmm. too much. Get you, I'm gonna get you back next time. Yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get me back. I'm gonna have to think about that one because, like, I walk out to Still Dre, just the piano. Okay. I like that. And yeah, and but I like such a wide variety of music. So I think I think it make, that makes it a little tough because like there's so many different different styles that I appreciate. That I I don't know I don't know who I would wanna wanna have do mine. Well, man, keep doing your thing out there, man. Good luck the rest of the season. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you, man.